All right, so pretty much everything is pulled off from the front. That would be an obstruction to the belts or anything. The belts look fine. Uh, radiator hoses are actually not like, you know, completely torn up. They are kinked, but we'll replace those later. Right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to turn the car on, see if it even turns on. And if it doesn't, then we gotta figure out what's going on. So the battery safety terminal is already replaced. Battery should be charged up. I just gotta hook up the terminals and try to crank it. Those draws, boo. You can see my draws. Yes. It's all right, we from the 704. Leaking now? No. It runs. It actually, no check engine lights or anything. It actually runs pretty good, sounds healthy. The oil level was fine. It does have like a minor oil leak from the oil pan gasket, which almost all of these do by now. But yeah, not bad. Now we just gotta put everything back together. Like even nothing is bent, like really, like all the frame rails are fine. Even these brackets, I mean, yeah, some of them cracked a little bit. But like none of them are really, you know, torn off or anything like that. Um, this inner cooler hose we probably will have to replace. And I think we're going to put a charge pipe on here anyways. We're replacing the inner cooler with the bigger inner cooler. Uh, aluminum radiator. We've got another condenser, so that's not a big deal. Only thing that we're not replacing here is the power steering cooler. But that one's not really damaged, so it's not a big deal.
All right, now that we're done with most of the front end, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wheels off so I can install coilovers. Um, the owner actually ended up buying KW V3 coilovers for all around just because he's gonna be tracking the car. So first task is getting these wheels off. As you can see, the car's been sitting for a little bit and they're kind of rusted on there. So I'm just trying to beat it off and yeah. It's really stuck on there, like, and since the steering wheel is not locked, it's just moving when I'm turning it. Uh, let's see. You can see all the corrosion right here. It's actually very common, even if the car hasn't been sitting. Just over time, whenever water gets on any of these hub-centered wheels, and usually what I like to do is just put like anti-seas on here before I put it on. Make sure you don't get it anywhere near the lug holes, but just right here on where the hub sits. And you can wire brush all this off to make it easier to pull off next time. All right, so the car is for the most part done. Uh, I started installing the coilovers, even got the whole passenger side disassembled and everything. And then I started reassembling the coilover with the strut mount and everything. Figured out that it's for the 1M, will not fit this car. Even the rear coilovers wouldn't fit. So we just ended up scrapping that idea for now. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to refund, get a refund and get the right coilovers. And I just put the stock stuff back together and put it back on retorqued everything, got all that stuff taken care of. Um, also got the bumper on, fixed the other headlight a little bit. Some of the tabs were broken. Um, there's a few things that I'm not too proud of. The bumper doesn't fit that well. Uh, the hood is kinked in a few spots. And it's also dented from shipping. So, I mean, I just got it as best as I could. I did have to, uh, you know, do some work on this fender as well to fix the gap, but the fender was also damaged. But I mean, it's not too bad. And obviously, like I said before, he's gonna be using this as a track car anyways. So we're not really too worried about all the fitment issues or anything like that. If, you know, if he was gonna get the whole car properly done, I would, you know, spend more time getting all the gaps done, refinishing both headlights to make them look both really good, even getting the bumper to fit a little better. So this bumper is a 1M replica bumper, which is why it has a few other fitment issues, but it's not too bad. Besides that, took care of the oil change, airbags are changed out. Um, there's a few other dings and dents around the car. There's a pretty big dent on the back bumper, which can be popped out with the heat gun, but he's gonna be wrapping the car whenever he does that. They'll probably take care of all that at that time. But yeah, besides that- this, You're not a body shop. Yes, I'm not a body shop. I, I used to do a lot of body work back in the you know North Carolina days. Um, nothing like you know crazy. I never did any frame work, because I, I usually feel that if there's frame damage to that extent that you have to pull it, I'd rather not, I wouldn't want to drive that car, so I'm not going to fix it and sell it to somebody that would, you know. Anyways, y'all ready for the test drive? He actually already got like the temporary plates, so now he just has to drive it around so he can get it smogged. Um, we did do a few aftermarket upgrades, the CSF radiator, um, a bigger intercooler, but none of that stuff should affect smog. Let's do this. Let me open up. Oh, and also I didn't put the grills, um, even the headlight washer covers or the fog light grills because he's gonna be wrapping it, so why would I install everything if he's gonna take it right back off? So all that stuff is in the trunk. But yeah, all right, let's see how she sounds. Come on in. All right. 
first time on the road since we bought it. Well, we, didn't buy it. <laughs> we didn't buy it, but yeah. you know what I meant. <laughs> the alignment might be off a little bit. Oh yeah, the headlights need to be pointed properly, especially the pass uh, driver side. Why well, say all tires are low? Oh, it needs alignment really bad. You're not wearing seatbelt. Oh yeah, I just figured that out too. The seatbelt is uh, stuck. The tensioner went off on the seatbelt, so he's gonna have to buy another seatbelt. Not bad. I used to not be a fan of the one series because it looks so stubby. It's like a three series that like they just push together. All right, so we just got back from the test drive. Feels great, it does need an alignment. Uh, I'm gonna have to repoint that headlight and stuff like that, but I'll do that later. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed rebuilding that one series. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, I can do these more often, I'll just buy more projects. Uh, we can never have enough projects anyways. We actually have an E46 with similar damage that's waiting to get repaired like that. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, make sure you go follow us on, <laughs> make sure you go follow us on all of our social media, on Instagram, all that stuff is, down below anywhere um, and also go check out our main channels. Thanks for watching.